Sega. There we go. Welcome. We are... Are we live? Internet can totally see you now. Yeah, it says we're live. There we go. Welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, this is this week's retro gaming playthrough where uh, I go through a console and a game. Today we've got the Sega Genesis or the Sega Mega Drive in the UK like me. And we're playing, as you can hear, Sonic the Hedgehog on the telly. Um, we're only going to do Sonic today, so um, we'll just play through this one. Um, but for next week, if you want me to have a particular console, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, it's any console between the Atari 2600 to the PS1 in that uh, time frame. And if you um, want me to play a particular game, please also put that in the comments for next week as well. Um, and, I'll, and I'll do that. Um, also, if, you're, uh, if you've got a console or a game or an accessory at home that you're trying to get rid of and trying to sell, put it in the comments with the price that you want for it. And also, if you're looking for a particular game to complete a collection, or you're looking for a particular console, accessory, whatever, put that in the comments as well. And hopefully, you know, you guys, whilst I'm playing this game, we can do some buying and selling at the same time. So, um, when you do come in, just say hi. Just uh, drop in and uh, give us a wave, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll do it. Um, I've got to say, I've never, ever... Let me get my controller ready. I've, I've never ever owned a Mega Drive uh, in my life up until recently um, and I really still haven't got a Mega Drive yet because the one that I bought um, uh, well it was for my girlfriend it was for her Christmas present but it, and it broke so um, and it's quite funny because then I thought well I'll you know until I replace it until I find a working one I'll go and um, I'll download the classics the Mega Drive classics on the PlayStation Store because uh, my girlfriend's got a PS4 but then it was locked to my account because I'm the one who purchased it. So my girlfriend still couldn't play it on her console. So it was like, oh my gosh, it was, it was quite funny. So really, she still hasn't had a Christmas present, but I'll, I'll, I'll sort her out. I'll see her right. Um, but back in the day, I never had Sega. I was a Nintendo boy. I had the NES. I had the Nintendo 64, the GameCube, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, and then until recently, I was, I was you know, PlayStation. So... Um, now I'm kind of got quite a lot of consoles now in the other room, and I've even got even more here. Um, I've got them all on the, on the computer. Like who hasn't? You know what I mean? Um, so we shall uh, we shall see. Um, uh, yeah. So I never had a. I, I used to have to go to my cousin's house if I wanted to play uh, a Sega game or a Sega whatever. I used to have to go to my cousin's house because uh, my cousin he had the Master System. Then he got the Mega Drive, and um, yeah, it uh, that's my only experience really of playing um, the Sega consoles was going to my cousin's house and playing like Altered Beast or Rampage or or even Sonic, but um, but that's it really. So um, right, uh, I think I think we should just play really, shouldn't we? We should just play it. So uh, why? <laughs> Don't even start, man. Don't even start. Right, I tested this out, man. I tested this stuff out, man. Right, we got... Oh, my... I don't believe that. I don't... Oh, I know why it isn't. I know why it isn't. Here we go. This will start now. He says... What's going on, man? Honestly. Here we go. Okay, yeah. We're, we're good. That's jump. That's jump. Okay, so all three... All three buttons are jump, okay? I, I honestly, oh, well, there you go, I'm dead. I honestly, I don't know how to play this properly. Um, I never really have. So, I, mean, I, can't, I, I can't believe that all three buttons are jump. I don't think that's correct, because I have played it on the Mega Drive, and I don't think they're all jump. Um, don't even, don't even, there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be no good at this. Ah, oh, I've lost my rings. Ah, oh, here we go. Oi. Nope. Oh. Oh, this is such a freaky deaky game to me. Because it's like you want to get... You want to get going. But you can't. Because uh, you keep stopping. You keep hitting uh, a block. And you just have to stop. Here we go. This is a bit... Oi. There we go. And then... So... 
slow down. Here we go. Oh, I see. You gotta hit that to pinball it. Right, okay. Right, here we go. And then that jumps. Right, okay. I'm with you now. Now we're cooking on gas. Boom! That's how you do that one. Right, so. Yeah. Um. So yeah, my 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 Sega experience is very limited. I'm probably going to be playing quite a lot of these games for the first time. Redfish Man got me. I'll be playing these for the first time um, quite frequently. So um, I'm I'm really rubbish at like Sonic. I gotta tell you, as you can probably tell. Um, oh, here we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, if you don't get up that, you don't get it. <laughs> That's it, man. Oh, we're not going to get up there now, are we? Jump! Oh, man, we gotta, we got to get on that swing, haven't we? we gotta, we got to get on that adult swing. It's <laughs> like, come on, get up there. <laughs> Mate, we're, that's it, we've had it, we've had it. Man, what's going on here with Sonic? I like the fact that when you stand him, right, and you leave him for a while. I believe he starts like stamping his foot, looking, look, looking at his time, going, "Come on, what are you doing? I'm meant to be running here." Honestly, oh, I forgot to. Uh... I had to silence my phone. Right here we go. Yeah, oh, honestly, I'm never gonna get up there. I think. There we go. Just, just, just. No, can't get up there that way. There we go. That's how you do that. This is a different level, isn't it? This isn't the same level, is it? Like I, I did complete that level. Cause it just, it does feel like the same level. Ah, oh, ah, oh, spiked. I've been spiked. Ah, oh, my life. Game over. Well, what's happened here? There we go. That was a bit weird. Right, here we go. Hang on, I'm not playing this. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on here? Why am I not playing? Try that again. There we go. So, I, I, I completely lost all my lives there. I've got to start all over again. You're going to see Green Hell Zone 1, Act 1, quite a lot, guys. Uh, yeah. I've got to remember that that bug-eyed dude is there. Come on, come on, let's go for it. Jump! Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's it, nobody can stop me now. I'm having a good time, I'm having a ball, doing the lobster dance. Oh. Ah, oh, can't go to the jewelers, I've lost all my rings. Really knowing when to jump, really, isn't it? It's, uh... Oh, what? Who's this creepy DP dude? Oh, what's me rings again? Come on! And you've got to get a run up on that one. I mean, you can't. Oh! Come on, here we go. There we go. This is the only bit that I can do the run on. <laughs> oh man, I've lost all my rings again. I mean, hang on, what happens when you have no rings and then you lose all your rings? Because them rings seem, they seem to have a lot more rings than I actually had in my pocket then. I don't know what happened then. Right. Yeah, I don't really have any stories about Sega because... Um, like, my girlfriend, she had a Sega, you 
know. Um, I, I, in fact, I've thinking about it now. In the past, most of my partners might say, like, that's a bit weird. Don't you think? Um, ah, you get up there. But I say I have, and I was Nintendo, so. Oh, that swing just got me then. Alright, come on. No! 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 Come on! Oh. I Seriously, how did I get up there the first time? Mental. This is like crazy, man. This is crazy talk, isn't it? Oh, get up there. All right. Can we, is there any possible way to jump on that swing? There isn't, is there? The swing's too high, isn't it? And you seem to jump back when you're going forward. Oh, oh, God. See, I'm not a free runner, so. It's all about timing, isn't it? You gotta just time it right. Missed it. Sonic does not like walking uphill, does he? Oh, that'll do. That'll do me. That'll do me. That'll do me. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll take that one. Oh! oh! I had such a run! There we go. Oh. Oh, here we go, this is where I lost it! No! No! You have to start all the way at the beginning as well! Oh my gosh! Oh. Guys, please give me a good, e uh, better game than this next time. I mean, this is fine. This is okay. Just because I've never really played it before. Oh, we're gonna be here forever again. Potluck that I get up there, guys. He jumps backwards. I've never seen that before. Like, first off, I've never seen hedgehogs jump. To be fair. But I've never seen like a game character where they, when you're jumping forwards, and they jump backwards. That's so weird. That don't you think? Yeah. So if you're just joining us uh, for the first time, this is, uh, you know, back in the day of gaming. Every week I play a retro game on a retro console. Oh! And fail miserably. And, um, you know, you guys get to nominate what game, what console, anything between Atari 2600 and the PlayStation 1. Um, each, let's say, week is a different game. Um, maybe even a few games in the, on, the, on that stream, on that day, sorry. Oh, see, I'm never getting up there. I'm, I'm never going to get up there. Please put it in the comments how to get up there. I just don't know. Oh, man. I mean, I, you would think jump on the slide, like jump on that little uh, swing, but you literally can't jump it from here. You've got to time it so That'd be perfect, and and bounce off it like that, and that 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 gets you there. Oh, <sighs> this is such a trying game, it really is. We can do this. I wonder if I can 
wonder, there's no other way through it, is there? Like, if I go backtrack and lose all my rings. There is no other way, is there? I've got to do this one. It's gonna be pot luck that we get up there, it really is. <laughs> Anybody got any ladders, please? Oh man. I mean okay, let's try pushing up on the control path when we go up that hill. And I can't jump then. Prevents me from jumping if I push up. Right, okay. Let's go with these. Let's see, it looks like a motorbike thing. Hang on, these bugs have all got engines on them. What's going on here? Engines, uh, the bugs with exhausts on them. Now this dude's shooting me. He's cack at me. Oh. Help! <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck on level two. There, we did it. We did it. We lost our rings, but I'm up. I don't care. We just cannot die or lose our momentum. Oh, ah, oh. ah. Oh. Well, let's get past this. I'll give over you fishy people. Phew! We did it! We did it! <laughs> oh man, I need a drink after that, man. Okay, here we go. Uh, I game over. No, <laughs> I worked so hard. Game over, man. As soon as I, oh mama. You, see, this is the thing with the uh, retro games, right? There are no game saves. There are no checkpoints. It's you've got the three lives or the three chances to complete the game, and if you don't, you've got to start from the beginning every time. That's the way. That's the way the cookie crumbles back in the day. Okay, if you're not good at gaming, you've got no chance. Basically, that's the way the cookie has been crumbling for us oldies ever since the dawn of time of gaming. You know, you kids, I tell you, you kids don't know where you were born with your checkpoints and your game saves. You just don't know you were born. <laughs> Seriously, like. We had to work for our games. They make you work for it, you know? They don't get it giving it to you with cheat codes and stuff. Ah, there were hidden things in games. Not cheat codes, hidden items. It's, you know, secret stuff. Oh, hello, I gotta buy that thing. Boom! Eat that! Oh! Now, I see, I remember all some of my mates at school who had a Sega. They were always be talking about these speed runs. Like, what's the time that you can do it in the fastest? And it's like, I just done that in 43 seconds. So, like, I'm sure 20 seconds or 15 seconds is probably most likely the fastest. Uh, my p pathetic 43 is probably bullshit. Um, right, on, go. What? Come on! Oh, you game over! Did he... Huh? Look at that, even the music gets you. Sega. Ages. That's how long it's going to take for this game. Oh, feels like I'm playing this game backwards. Right. I can definitely say, guys, today's not going to be a long stream if I'm only doing this game because I'm absolutely pants at it. Right. I need, I'll tell you what I need is a good shooter, because I'm, I'm good at shooters, like this sort of stuff, 
Uh, you know, I'm pants that guy. I really am pants that. You know? Like Sonic, I've never done Sonic in my life, so. Um, I'm better at shooters, definitely. Oh, come on, I'm going the wrong way! Get up, get up, get up, get up! Oh! I don't know why he does so slow. Hey, you guys just appeared out of nowhere. What are you playing at? This game is making it up. Hey, that's actually a cool fact that I learned about these consoles. About the retro consoles like the Mega Drive, the Super Nintendo, the NES, and the Master System. Is that their sound chip, right? Uh, that was you know, on the, the hardware itself, on the circuit board, there was a sound chip. You know, all this music you're hearing um, isn't like pre-recorded stems that are left within the circuit board somewhere. They didn't have memory like that type of thing. Um, you know, they, they had memory used for other purposes, but not for like saving sound files, you know? So all the music uh, and the sound effects you hear are uh, being generated like as I play the game they are literally being generated as I play so every time I jump then it triggers that sound to to register but the music itself as well so depending on you know where you are in the screen of the um, the game will be a tr uh, you know a series of tones um, and they use like something like six tracks with uh, different tones on each track to generate this music and if you listen to like just one of the tracks at a time um, like the tones being played it's just like it might be boom 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 and then another one might be beep 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 beep, 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 beep. and then you know when they play it together it's like boom beep 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 boom beep beep beep, 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 beep. and all this and then it just it sounds like the music but it's all being generated live so it's kind of cool in that respect you know it's like it's being generated as you play live. Whereas nowadays, games, it's all pre-recorded sound files that they, that they then mix in with the gaming. And then when you hit a certain thing, what the hell is this? Bonus level. Hang on, am I doing this? Let's just stand still for a second. No, I'm not doing this. I thought I was doing that then for a second. I was like, that's cool. Um, I did push start, so I don't know what happened there. But yeah, nowadays, they just mix the sound together. That's all done from pre-recorded stems. Whereas back then, they didn't have the luxury of having pre-recorded stems built within each cartridge. So they they had these sound modulators, which basically generated like the different sounds that you're going to hear. And then puts it all together and generates it, playing it live. So effectively, you're playing against a live orchestra every time you play a game on the retro consoles. I just thought that was, when I found that out, I just thought that was so cool. I had to share that with everybody. And I bet everyone's going, yeah, we know that dude. It's like, that's old news. It's like, whatever. But, you know, I just found that out. So I thought, why? that's the highest I've jumped so far. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, I keep losing my rings. Oh man. There we go, got some points there. 36 seconds that time, so I beat my old score. Woohoo, all right. 36 seconds, man. Past the ring. Here we go. We need to find some one-ups. We need... Oh! You! Man! I'm bullshit! I'm bullshit! Excuse me. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's definitely going to be a short uh, stream today, guys. I'm telling you now. All right, here we go. Come on. I think the idea with this game is to not stop. Like if you, if I, oh look at, what the hell? Okay. It 
it's like, yeah, you don't want to stop. I, I, I get the feeling that you've got to keep moving in this game. You know, it, it's best to keep moving. Never stop. And like, you want to bounce from person to person. That That's the kind of feeling I get. 100. Yo, you ain't here today. You gotta keep moving, you know? It won't stop. <laughs> um, what is this? Bonus level. Hang on, am I doing this one as well? Yeah, I am. Oh, this is ace, this is. This is like, I feel like the fly here. Pinball Sonic or something. No, not down! I don't want to go down, I don't want to go down. Yo, yo! Oh! There we go. You get so, mi so much time in here or something. Way! What was that? I've never seen that before in my life. Sonic, you're... Come on, Sonic. So, uh, is anybody looking forward to uh, Sonic the Hedgehog the movie coming out this year? Um... I, I mean, I, I, yeah, whatever, dudes. Like, I don't know what it could be about. I mean, this game, to me, um, being a complete sonophobe, or not sonophobe, what, what does that even mean, sonophobe? Being a complete sonic noob, if that's the word I was looking for. Being a sonic noob, it's like, I don't even know what the story is, okay? So you got a sonic and his ever eternal quest for ring hunting, like... I don't know, uh, get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah, it's like, I, I, I don't even know what his story is, because, um, oh, 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 no, at least I got through all that gappy stuff, yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it, yeah, just there, woo, um, I don't, yeah, like, it doesn't tell you any story, it throws you in, and it's like, grab as many rings as you can, um, and that's it, and it's like, okay, and it's set in this tropical jungle by the looks of it, and it's like Sonic just legging it for rings everywhere, um, so I'm not really sure what the storyline is, so, like, I'm guessing that, that there is a storyline, and that, like, in other Sonic games, I know there's Knuckles, and there's Tails, but how they factor in, I'm not that sure. Well, that, it's not clear to me. Oh, get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's it. That's it. Come on. Don't be shy, Sonic. There we go. Oh, where are we going? We're going back for some reason. Let's go back again. Oh, ow. <laughs> oh, we. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, man, this is gonna take forever, this is. Oh, that was a... There we go, we did that one. Oh, spiky! Spiky! Oh. Oh, look at this. It's like behind the waterfall thing. Oh, we gotta catch the uh, grass elevator. <laughs> we just fall off it. There we go. There we go. Uh, thank you. No! No, dude! Oh, no way! Uh oh. Boss level! Oh no, there's a bot. Look at. Oh, don't touch this brown blob of whatever it is. Hang on, what is the deal here? I don't. What am I supposed to do with him? Was I? Am I supposed to dump, like, jump on him to death? 
Hey, eh? classic Sonic, yeah. Classic Sonic that I never played. I'm not very doing very well. Uh, be, be, be rock, bro. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's what it's been like, bud. Honestly, it's been just. Speed Lebrox, thank you. Yeah, again, I yeah, this was something that I oh yeah, continue, definitely continue. I never played this as a kid. Uh, my cousin did. All the partners who I've had in my life have always played Sonic, and they're much better at that I am. I'm much like pants. I am a load of rubbish, honestly. So um, it's been interesting. I've been playing for 30 minutes, and this is as far as I've gotten. Um, which is like akin to the second world in Mario, you know? so... No! Oh, I fell down that. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's basically just keep jumping. That seems to be the secret that keeps working, is you just keep jumping every now and again. You run as fast as you can, and then throw a jump in, like, randomly. And that's the secret, I think, to this game. See, I get all these hidden things just by randomly jumping. Go on, keep it going. I've still not got that loop de loop thing down yet. Oh. Ah. Oh. Throw me back, man. There we go. Oh, and this spiky thing. Oh. If I just keep jumping, we'll be. Oh, there's a look at that. There's a hidden plunger behind the uh, tree. Look at that. Can't get up there. Right, let's try. And... Oh. Oh no! Take that. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Care package or something. There we go. There we go, this is it. Now this is what gets me. I have no idea what we're meant to be doing here. Do we jump on him? I mean, I don't know. I guess so. Oh. I can't get rid of his brown ball sack completely jumping on me. There we go. I mean, I guess you just keep jumping on him. Oh, he's got me ring. What, 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 what can you do with that, eh? B, what can you do with that, eh? Very frustrating enemies and boss enemies, this is. I mean, yeah. I mean, if I jump on his ball sack, then it's game over. It's like, you have to avoid his swing in one and try and get... I mean, look, he's got blue sunglasses on. He looks like uh, Shazam with gold blonde hair. <laughs> got the right idea. Yeah, just got to keep bouncing on him, basically. So that's it now. Game over all the way back to Act 1. So, oh, my life. And this is so, this is hard enough, this is. Like, there's a spot in Act 2 where I just can't get past. Uh, it's potluck if I get past it or not. He jumps backwards. I just find that very weird. The dude jumps back. B, when was the last time you played this one, eh? That's the highest I've jumped in this game now. That's the highest. Woo! Sweet. Oh, my life. Played it uh, once, realized I was crap, and never played it again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, I think, the first time I played... I played this about two weeks ago for the first time in, like, years. 
and I only did it like two tries because it's it's mega hard. Sega is more like it should be named Mega, you know, from Mega Hard. Maybe that's what the Mega Drive is all about. It's gonna be you know possible to get anywhere. Um, it's gonna drive you mega insane or something. Um, but yeah, I, I I just I yeah. So I stopped it and then you know this bit I can never get past. Pot luck if we get on that little thing there. Ah. See, I would jump up and over, but he jumps backwards, which I find very weird. It's so hard to get up the hill because he jumps backwards. Oh man. We're gonna be here forever by the way. This is gotta be a better way to get up here. Oh, see that's it's all gonna be timed perfectly. It's like See, there's a timing to it. You got the beer this time. I need a beer this time. I'm telling you, I've just got water and coffee. I need a beer though. I need like several beers. Oh, come on, man. Hey, 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 we did it. We did it. We did it. That's it. We did it. We. See what I mean? Potluck. Potluck. We're lucky to get up there. Oh, gosh. And then you go back to the beginning. There's no forgiveness in this game. Sega truly did, like, must have created hardcore gamers. You know, people who just never give up. And you've got to be, like, a really good gamer to get anywhere in this. You know, it's like, this is like training for the gaming Olympics. They give you Sonic, and you got to do, like, three months on Sonic, you know? With the Mario, there's loads of hidden things and shortcuts and... No, I don't. I just, yeah. Does that mean Nintendo like created lazy gamers, where Sega created kind of like gamers that are really, you know, good? Who knows? I do like the fact that you can go back on yourself. So if you miss something, you can easily get it again. Oh, it's always somebody to take me ring away. Oh. So mental this is. Is there? Is there shortcuts and secrets? Please tell me them. I'd be glad to try one. <laughs> I need to try one. These guys appear out of nowhere. These guys are like masters of invisibility. Oh, thank God. Oh, my life. <laughs> oh, mate, I wish I did too, yeah. No worries, no worries. I like the way he stamps his foot, you know what I mean? When, you, when he's waiting for you and he's like, come on, come on. 
What's going on here? What's the hold up? Oh! See, it's little simple mistakes like that that just... It's unforgiving. Oh no! I was on it as well! I was on it! I do believe it's going to take me a better part of my life to get through this game. <laughs> oh, I see. You think you can even time it? It just doesn't work out. So, uh, did you hear about that, uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog film coming out, Beeb? It's, uh, it comes out this year. Um, there is, if you, if you Google Sonic Hedgehog movie, oh, I walked up that then, um, you'll see the poster for it, and it's just like Sonic standing there, and it's got, he's got muscly legs, I think it comes out later this year, or it could even be early next year, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I have no idea what the story is, because to be honest, I don't even know what the story is in this game, it's like, Blue Hedgehog needs rings, I mean, there, there we go. It's like, that sounds like an episode of Storage Hunters or something. Or, you know, it's like... Oh. Stick to the road, man. There we go. Boom, that's the way you do it. Oh, that's the way you die. Game over. Uh, is there a trailer? I haven't I haven't seen any trailer. Let's uh, let's have a look up, shall we? Let's see if we can see one. Uh, on. Let's type it all in. Yeah, there we go. Let's see, let's see if we can watch uh, Sonic. There we go, live action, it's a teaser trailer. Let's have a watch of this. Um, there's no way to bring it up live, but let's see here. What we got? Let's see, I might be able to bring it up live, actually. Hang on. No, I can't. So it's from Paramount Pictures. And that's... is that it? Oh, here we go. Very colourful. Looks like it's set in New York. In the future. Kind of like, um... Escape from New York type of film. Uh... And then Sonic comes busting through. Very neon-y. Very bright. A dude with a moustache. Uh... Will you? Spaceships. Flying over a city. And then Sonic goes to work. Boom, knocking everybody out. Jim Carrey's in it, no way. He's Dr. Ivo Rob... Robo... Robnik. Robot. What is this, man?
Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. You know, uh, I mean, I'm not the biggest Sonic fan, but I'm sure there's a reason why they never made a Wile E. Coyote film. There we go. Uh, 11th of August, it says on here. So this summer. This summer, my gosh. So there you go. That's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, the soundtrack does uh, sound pretty cool, to be fair. I, I, do, uh, I do think the soundtrack's pretty cool. I mean, maybe. I'd, I, I, I mean, I work at a cinema, so I guess I'll have to watch it. But, um, how do we get out? Oh, yeah, let me get back on here. Um, there we go. So, yeah, so that's coming out. Um, load of others. There's loads of films coming out that I didn't realize were coming out this year. And it's like, whoa, you know, I've got like a full list of the whole schedule. Um, maybe, um, uh, maybe tomorrow's daily log I'll go through or something. But, um,. Uh, yeah, it's like, whoa, I didn't even realize that was being made into a film, or I didn't realize that there was a sequel to that, and it's, like, suddenly here. Um, and it's not even the full list I've got. There's there's loads of films that aren't on the list, like the Terminator film, which I can't wait to see that one, because the pictures of Sarah Connor looked badass. Boom. So, um, out of these, uh, like the Mega Drive, uh, Beeb, and the, um, Super Nintendo, you didn't have a Mega Drive. Did you have a Super Nintendo? Did you have a, a 16-bit console back in the day? I personally never did. Um, I went from 8-bit straight to the Nintendo 64. I bypassed the Super Nintendo. Oh, man! Spikes did. 2600, my man. Commodore 16. That's not the Commodore 64, that is it. Or was that, is that you saying the Commodore 64 is the 16 bit computer you had? Um, my mate had a, a Commodore 64. Um, I never had one myself again. I played my mates, um, and I remember playing a game. Um, it was all right. I mean, I wasn't like in love with it. Um, I just found it very cumbersome because you have to load the game first, um, and it was like a tape. And it was like I'm used to cartridges, and I'm used to getting on and, and playing straight away. You know, N none of this loading rubbish. Which, like, to be honest, we've kind of gone back to that now. It's like you get a game, and you have to download and install half of it first before it'll even play it. And it's like, have we gone back in time to the retro days of, you know, loading a game, like, like installing it first or something? It's so weird. Uh, what else do you got? Amiga 500. I'm, I never, I've never experienced Amiga 500. Amstrad. My mate had an Amstrad. And I, um, the 16K version of the Commodore. So, uh, so what was that, what year did that come out and what was that like? Because I've only known of the Commodore 64. My mate had an Amstrad, and I remember playing a game. It was like a flight simulator, but it was all like black wireframe. It was pretty cool, but 
I, re I remember that. Um, ooh. And uh, now a PC now. One last go. This is the final three lives, okay? Because I'm just, I'm getting nowhere <laughs> fast. It's like mega hard this is. I, see, I make simple mistakes like that. I was like, I knew he was there. I just forgot. I jump. See, I'm getting better, I think. I think I'm getting better at this. I'm not dying as much. That's <laughs> That's my th way of checking how good I am. That's the highest again I've jumped. Boom! Oh, 44 seconds. I did this in 37 seconds once. That's my hot quickest. Um, long story. Okay, me and my brother tried to say hundred quid for it. Is that what it was? Sixty-four. Commodore sixty-four was a hundred pounds. Sixteen was only sixty, so we got that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's this level. I love this level. Oh no, man! If, uh, you can stay there for ages, getting all the coin, uh, all, all the coins, all the rings. I just. Went straight for that gold bit and accidentally... Oh, dear. I, I tell you what I'd be interested in finding out is, like, the cost of manufacturing... Oh, I missed it. One games console, right? To how much consumers pay for it, you know? So, like, I think, if, if I remember correctly, when the PS3 first came out... It was more expensive to manufacture them than it for the price they were selling them at. I think I got mine for three hundred pounds, but I, I believe it cost a lot more to um, to make them. I think they were losing money on the manufacture of the consoles. It was all the downloads that they were going to make their money on, um, but the actual consoles themselves, they weren't profitable at all. Um, But I'm just, I'd be very curious as to find out, like, you know, okay, so Mega Drive. One unit of Mega Drive costs how much to make? You know, when you factor in that they obviously buy all their materials in bulk, and they make these in the factory at bulk, so that really cheapens the cost per unit. But then they're selling it for whatever, and it's like, I'd love to know what the cost was per unit. I'll have to do a little research and maybe maybe do a future video on on that and do a little uh, you know countdown to the most expensive console produced to the most con the most expensive console to buy. Um, I imagine the most expensive consoles are that of the, the you know oh the ones that come out sort of like you know recent times because they're like four hundred quid um, and if you get loads of games it's like five hundred quid. You know, it's uh, crazy money. Um, so yeah, I'd be very interested. I'll have to do a little research. Oh. In fact, I might even add in, in when we do future uh, retro back in the day of the gaming playthroughs, um, maybe you have a little research on the console and uh, yeah, and then sort of like give out a bit of info about it. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Summit there. There. Whee! Over. Wah, wah, wah.
<laughs> oh, my life. That's it. Game over on that one. So, there we go. Oh, I can't, be, I, can't be, I can't believe that, to be honest. Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm telling you, I've earned... I think I feel like I've earned the, the movie that's coming now. Like, that is a uber hard game to play. Um, that is proper. You've got to know what you're doing on every stage of the way. Um, yeah, man, that was, that was proper tough, tough titties, that was. Um, there we go, turn the console off. Um, so, whew. well, I think, that, I mean, to be honest, Sonic's tired me out pretty much. I mean, I've just had lunch and, you know, I, I was ready for it, but Sonic has really knacked me out. I need to go down and have a kip now, I think. Sonic, mate, you've killed me. I've even, I've even been you know, supping on coffee to try and keep myself awake. But, yeah. So, there we go. Uh, so, next week, put in the comments uh, what um, game console you want me to do next. And give uh, sort of a few um, games as well. And if, you know, uh, and I'll choose some myself, maybe. If... Um, where am I at? I'm right now. I'm sat in with Optimus Prime watching me. Um, he's making sure I play these games fairly, um, and uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm at home really. Um, and then I'll be uh, heading off to work in oh, a few hours' time. It's only one o'clock now, so I'll uh, do some more work and then, uh, then I head off to work again. So that's it, really. Uh, thanks for watching, Beep. Um, Next week, uh, it'll be noon. Um, I'll, I'll put a, a sort of a comment on this video of what day it'll be. But then I'll do a live... Um, in fact, probably, I, could be fine, I could probably find out right now um, what day it'll be. Let's just check. Um, but, I'll, yeah, there'll, there'll be a notification for, you know... Here we go. Boom. Find out right now what day it'll be. Oh, hang on. Wait, no. Yeah, I'll find out right now. Um, the day. Because I kind of work this play thing uh, around the rotor that I get from the cinema. So, uh, I can sell you that next week it will be... What is that? 20... That's a Saturday. Uh, you know what? We'll do it on the Wednesday next week, the 30th of June. The Wednesday. All right? So that's that's when it'll be. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I shall see you uh, again next week. All right? Thank you very much. Hope you had fun. TTFN.